Hey guys, I'm here with my boyfriend Tyler. What's going on? And we just got to the Mad Hatter for brunch. And it's one of our favorite brunch spots because they have high tea and really cute breakfast things. But I guess they're not doing high tea right now because of COVID. And they have like 50% capacity right now, but we're still going and we're gonna have a little mini tea party, I guess. And it's so nice out today. When I say nice, it's literally 50 degrees out, but that's nice for New York weather in March. So I'm fine with not wearing a coat for today. I think we might go antique shopping after brunch and yeah. So I got a breakfast garbage plate. So there's pancakes, eggs, a bunch of stuff. By the way, this is the small. So there's a small and a large, and good thing I ordered the small. Tyler ordered these mint chocolate pancakes, and they literally look so amazing. And then I came with these in. It's lovely. <laughs> So cute. It's actually Alice in Wonderland themed. Hence all the decor. It's so cute. It is absolutely beautiful owl. Gorgeous. Day. It finally Gorgeous. feels like spring and I think we're all here for that, honestly. Okay, so just our luck, we pull up to the antique shops that we wanted to go to and they are closed. So we're trying to figure out what we're going to do now. We might go try and find somewhere else or we don't really know. Any suggestions? Um, it's a lovely day. Maybe it's a beautiful enjoy day. the weather while Maybe we we'll can. Maybe we'll go for a drive or do something else. But I'm kind of disappointed because I really did want to go here. But we will have to go another day, I guess. Shame. It's a shame. So we decided to stop at this thrift in Fairport called A Second Thought. And we've been here like one other time. And I actually found a few cute things from here. So we figured why not? Stop Why not? here. Second thought. Second thought. So, I guess we'll go in there and see what we can find. Oh, no. oh sorry. This is so And for some nice pieces. Wow, this looks so beautiful. So unfortunately, we did not find anything. They had a lot of stuff put out for Easter and spring, but I didn't want to just get something just to get something. So too, too often he says so that I do, that, do a that a lot, but no, I always buy things if I could see myself wearing it or using them or whatever the item is, but I unfortunately didn't find anything today. So I guess on to the next place. So we're driving around Fairport looking for a place to stop at or something to do. And we drove past this one place and it looked like this little house but it had a sign up for it and it said antiques etc. So I thought it was like a little house sale or something like I don't know. I was like let's stop here real quick and see if they have anything. And the sign said open 12 to 4. So it's only a little after 3 so I was like oh they're still open. So Tyler was like it looks kind of sketchy like. Oh. No. So we walk up 
and there's literally like nothing in this house and this guy's sitting there and he's like we're closed ma'am and i was like oh okay well uh, we're walking to the trap house like <laughs> you know antiques in there it was just very sketchy i don't think today has been a big success when it comes to going to antique shop hopefully soon <laughs> so somehow we ended up at the mall and we're walking around and we came across a toothpick exhibit literally all these little buildings and houses are made out of toothpicks like how i am amazed and shocked do you think you could do that no I <laughs> start practicing start practicing now we had to stop for ice cream <laughs> <laughs> so I got birthday cake ice cream with Oreos and rainbow sprinkles and what did you get? Banana? Banana pudding, chocolate chips and Reese's peanut butter cups. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> Hey guys, so I am now back home. Today definitely did not go as planned, but when do my days ever go as planned? Usually never. <laughs> the only thing I picked up from today was this really cute, it's like a pink Louis Vuitton mask from the mall. And I just love this print, like obviously it's not real, but I just thought it was really cute. And I mean, why not? If you're gonna wear a mask, make it fashion. So that's all I got from today at the mall, but I did wanna show you guys what I had recently gotten from Depop. So I just wanted to do a little mini Depop haul. If you don't know what Depop is, it's an online thrift store basically. If you're not really into going to thrift stores and physically looking through things, this is an online organized thrift store. So you can search what you're looking for. Usually the prices are pretty good and I'll show you guys what I found in the past couple weeks. I will also leave the Depop sellers tags on the screen so that you guys can check them out as well and see if they have anything that you guys like. So the first package is from Miami Fox it looks like and it's this cute orange packaging and I will show you what's inside. So they wrapped it nicely in this little tissue paper. I love when Depop sellers take the extra step to make it look cute because I just love it. So the first thing that I got from this seller, I got two things. The first one is this really pretty, it's like a cowl neck top and the sleeves have this really nice detailing on them. And I just love different tops like this that you don't really see too often. I just think it has a lot of character to them and it's definitely something that you don't see all the time. I've been loving these brown tones lately. I've been seeing them everywhere and I just think it's so adorable. So I had to have this. The other thing that I picked up from them was this beautiful skirt. Oh my goodness, this is literally like the prettiest skirt that I own. Look at the bottom of it. It comes to a point in the middle and it has these pieces that drape down and it looks so elegant and classy. It just looks so beautiful. I'm so excited to wear this and to style this especially. So that is all from that seller. The next thing that I picked up was strictly for nostalgic purposes. I had to have this purse and you're just going to see why. So this is from the seller AK Styles. I'll double check these by the way so that I know 100% but you guys. <laughs> by the way, I am fully aware that this is for a child but like I said, it's for nostalgic purposes and I had to have it. Plus it was brand new. 
how cute is this oh my goodness lizzie mcguire was literally my whole entire childhood and if you don't know who lizzie mcguire is then you are too young and you need to go on disney channel and watch every season right now but yeah it's just this cute little purse and like it's a shoulder bag so like who knows if i'll wear it or not but either way i just wanted to own it because it's so cute and i mean i don't even think i need to really explain this one the next thing that i picked up i was really really excited about so if you guys have seen legally blonde or clueless or um i've definitely seen britney spears wear this a bunch of times then you will get it so this is from the seller zen craft creations i believe she's from the uk um and she hand crochets these so it is this little pink crocheted hat i'm not gonna put it on right now because i have a headband and it doesn't match my outfit by any means but um this hat screams early 2000s i love fashion from the early 2000s and this definitely just is such a throwback and i thought it would be so fun to style i am obsessed she makes all different colors and i got the pink because it reminded me of legally blonde so cute and for a really good price too <laughs> what was that <laughs> there's a ghost in my house so the last thing to conclude this depop haul that i'm so excited about are these adorable little brats inspired boots and if you played with brats as a child you definitely know what i'm talking about when i say brats boots because everyone had these and they're just so adorable and so comfy I got them brand new. They were dead stock, so they're definitely really old and they don't sell them anymore. So if you are looking for shoes like these, you definitely have to look, but I got them for a really good price. I think when these were in stores, I believe this is from Target because it says acceleration and I believe that that's the Target brand. Again, so cute, so comfortable, and again, with that early 2000s vibe, I'm obsessed. I guess that completes this little Depop haul. I hope you enjoyed it. I do have a Depop myself where I list clothes that I have thrifted or clothes that I just don't wear anymore. So if you want to go check out my Depop, I will leave that on the screen as well. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Definitely subscribe and leave a comment below if you have any recommendations for future videos for me to make. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for coming along today on this crazy adventure. We will see you in the next one. Bye, you guys.